And here we are at spawn. Let's get this 119 adventure started by punching our very first tree. Making our first crafting bench. Hi chicken, get some sticks. Our first pickaxe. Let's grab an axe too. I'm sorry, I might need food later. Thank you. Ooh, birch. And let's just grab a little bit of stone here on the side of this mountain. Ooh, stone age, let's go. Now the world is scary out there, so we're gonna need a sword. And let's upgrade to stone tools. Ooh, more advancements. Now this is hardcore after all. We gotta defend ourselves. We gotta make sure we get some irons for some armor. We also have to make sure we get a shield because skeletons will destroy me and also random creepers will blow up in my face if I don't have one of those to protect ourselves. I also gotta stop running around and jumping because I don't have that much food on me, so let's take it slow and murder more chickens. Thank you for your sacrifice. Now, I'm also going to make sure that I leave a link in the description for the seed. Also, the coordinates where I'm going to be basing at. I searched for about an hour, over 60 plus seeds to find the perfect location for our world. And oh man, this place is amazing. Thank you, pig. You too. Sorry. Need food? I don't want to die. Dying of starvation in a hardcore world is very embarrassing. Ooh, coal. Uh, this looks like a very dangerous pit, though. Um, huh. <laughs> Maybe I could grab just a little bit of coal? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm not going down there though, bye bye. Now besides iron and a shield, another really important thing is to get a bed right off the bat <laughs> because I want to sleep the night away so the mobs won't murder me while I walk around. I don't see any sheep so far though. I do see some bees. Hey buddy, how you doing? <gasps> Hi doggies, thank you so much for the wool. Are any of you my girl Bubbles? You, are you my girl Bubbles? Have you seen her anywhere around here? I know she's around. I'll find my doggy later. Thank you so much for the wool, though. I'm gonna need one more. If you find another one, you let me know. Oh, I might need you later. Come here, cow. Thank you so much. Hey, piggy. Hello. You're dead. One more. Don't worry, I won't murder you. You have a child. It's getting nighttime, and I need one more piece of wool. Oh, beautiful. Look at that dark oak. I'm gonna need that, but I need wool first. Mistakes were made. I took way too long. Please learn from my mistakes. Don't be running around in the nighttime in your first night on hardcore without any iron to make any armor or anything like that. Oh, God. Just one more sheep, please. Oh, and I'm dying of hunger, too. Oh. <gasps> oh! Thank you! Thank you so much! Hurry. Hurry. We sleep! Oh, yes! Oh, man. That was pretty clutch right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm the greatest hardcore player in the world, but I'm the, I'm the greatest hardcore player in the world. Uh, survive the first night! Let's go! Oh, I'm gonna need this. Now, let's get a little bit more cobblestone. Oh, pretty. Look at that dolphin. So many dolphins. Oh, wow. This is so nice here. Let's take the time, though, to make a furnace and cook some food. And now we went from no food to a literal buffet of food. I love food. Now, which one should I eat first? Let's go for the pork chop. Delicious. Oh, we have a big giant body of water over here. What should I do? Let's make ourselves a boat. Not just any boat. We're making a chest boat. Oh, look at that. Oh, the little things make me happy. <laughs> look at it. Oh, so nice. Now, if I shift click it, I can put all my stuff in here. And we're off. Oh, look how elegant this boat is. Oh, we're here already. That was a quick trip. Get my stuff back. Dolphin, hey, your friend have one of my planks. You're so sweet. Play around with that thing. Remember me later. Show me what the treasure is, all right? <laughs> Cute little thing. Now, the cool thing about this seed is we have a bunch of biomes so close together. And you know I'm going to take myself some dark oak. Now, we got enough saplings to replant later on. And I did see another beautiful tree out in the distance over there. That's going to be very helpful to our sanity and survival. Even more important than a shield and iron armor, netherite, anything else in this world. I don't have Optifine yet, so let's do it like this. Dramatic zoom in. Yep, you guessed it. That's spruce up there. But I see some bamboo over here, and we're probably going to need scaffold. So let's get this first, and then we'll head over to the spruce. The holy grail of spruce. Oh, here we go. Let's have our first ASMR moment of the season. Ooh, spooky. Um, <laughs> I'm a little scared right now. I have no armor. I haven't found a single piece of iron yet. Uh, but I'm in a weird cave. Um, hello? Oh, glow lichen. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, moss! Oh, okay, the second holy grail besides spruce. Oh, I gotta get that. I gotta get this. Oh, that's a zombie. 
It's okay, as long as there's no skeletons, we're fine. Oh, Copper, oh, I need you too. Oh, this is it. This is a beautiful pocket of amazingness right now. Okay, I just need a little bit of moss so we can take back home. Later on, we can bone meal it. Okay, I just need a little bit of you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Why am I breaking you with that? Okay, I'll take you too. So lovely. Our first battle. Let's go. I don't need a shield. Let's go. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's light up the place just a tad. Oh, what a lovely spot. I love a good lush cave. Oh, it goes all the way down here. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry, headphone warning. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That could have been the end of the series. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this iron at least. Okay, um, <laughs> oh god, all right, we're fine, we're fine. I switched the pickaxe to this side out of panic, okay? I need to change the pants. At least we have glowberries. Now, before we do anything else, we're making that shield. This will save us, huh? <laughs> uh, either that or my quick reflexes will. And with that, yeah, let's make some booties. Oh, I want that. All right, one more last mission, the mission for the spore blossom. Do people really risk it for spore blossoms in normal hardcore survival situations? No. Do I do it? Yeah, that's my thing. I needed to make things pretty. Risk your life for pretty stuff. That's me. Mythical J sauces, the J sauce. And bam, mission complete. Now I am already here. I love me a good flower pot. So a little bit of this clay is gonna go a long way. And that's water. And with nine more pieces of iron, I'm gonna go with the chest plate first. Oh, we're getting there. I think we had enough danger for the moment. Let's uh, keep going. <laughs> we made it out alive. Oh, what a great day. Ah, what was that? Do need some jungle saplings though. What are you doing? Dying on a birch tree, I see. Yeah, come to me, my spruce friend. Oh, it's been too long. Let's go. I just need four saplings to take with me. We did it. <laughs> We're set. Look at this. Oh, never had such a beautiful starting array of materials <laughs> in my life. This is a good start. And now I think it's time. Right behind my head, actually. We're not too far from where I'm going to be basing it. Oh, baby. And I got such a good idea for this season. Let's go. are here welcome to my hardcore 119 base area right up here right next to this tree which we're definitely going to customize it right in between this little mountain area this big old mountain area and this mega gigantic beautiful mountain area nestled beautifully here in this open plains it's like a blank canvas that we can build anything we want but in the morning because right now it's scary and uh, bad guys are coming what do you guys think of our 119 base area this is so perfect i love this seed and this is not too far away from spawn but not only is this place beautiful and breathtaking with all of these views around here we also have some very interesting features i would like to point out one being that right behind us is a village <laughs> yeah a full-blown village that i need to get to in a second because i gotta secure some villagers i don't want anything bad to happen to our friends over there and another is this mountain it's a very beautiful mountain oh yes but not only is it beautiful on the outside I just go up this little waterfall here it's also beautiful on the inside. This bad boy right here, it's hollow. Look at this. This right here is amazing. I couldn't ask for anything cooler than this. It's a dripstone cave. A huge one. Whee! Now the plan is this. Out here, we're going to be building our medieval fantasy kingdom of our dreams. Connected to a huge gigantic opening right here to our dwarven kingdom of our dreams taking what we learned in our last season's world before we got uh, interrupted by a death and amplifying it by a hundred in here we'll get to this section very very soon but i'm thinking a big bridge going from this side to that side huge giant gate opening that connects this part of town 
to that part of town. Farmland over here as far as the eye can see. Roads and paths connecting everything. And of course our path is going to connect all the way down to this village. And are we going to transform this village? Of course we are. Who do you think this is? We gotta transform this village. The only question is what style. Ooh. But I'm gonna need these. Very, very important. Thanks, villagers. I'll keep you safe if you just feed me, okay? Now, once nighttime comes, I'm gonna try to seal them in here. Make sure they are safe. I'm gonna wall this place off eventually to be sure they're 100% safe. But for right now, I think the best course of action is to say hi to the kitty cat. Hi, cute cat. Oh, you're so nice. Please, please. The second I get fish, I'm coming back for you, okay? I promise. And, oh, sorry to interrupt. And you're safe. And you're safe. Uh-huh. You're safe, and you're safe, and I'll just uh, use this uh, for now. Um, I'll lay this way, so you don't look at my face while I'm sleeping. I'm gonna take this bed, it's a lot prettier than mine. Base camp is all set up, I like this, this looks pretty cool, super simple. We got a tiny little wagon over here, and we got our bed, we got some chests, some barrels, some furnaces and stuff like that, a little bit of atmosphere over here. I wish I had a little more, more gravel and coarser and stuff like that, but for right now, quick little thing I put together just so we can have an area uh, for random junk placement. Oh wait, now it's perfect, wait. All right. Oh, that's a lot better. And a little bit of flowers. Also, let's plant some trees because we're going to need a lot of materials. And I'm going to just plant some over here out of the way of our main area. Like over here. Over here. And our dark oak over here. And I want a simple setup for glow berries. So I can do something like this. Drop those down. Let that grow down here. Maybe do a little separate connection right here. Yeah, that'll do. Aesthetic sapling. Perfect. Now, one of the main building blocks that I want to use for my starter house and for this area in general is the mangrove wood. So we got to go out there in the wilderness and find ourselves a lovely mangrove swamp. Maybe we can make a couple friends along the way. Ooh, I can use a little bit of sugar cane on this trip. Ooh, that's pretty. Actually, I'm going to need a good bit of sand for what I got planned. So I'll uh, just take a little bit here off the top. Is that a way through the mountain? I want to go see. Oh, this looks cool. Kind of looks like a ride at Disney World. Like it's a small world or something. Oh, this is, this could be very dangerous. Oh, 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 this is cool. Oh no, does this drop down? Is this a waterfall? That's a waterfall. <laughs> oh no, skeleton, no. Oh no, I'm not checking that. That looks super scary. Ah! No, I'm scared. I'm sorry. Sorry, headphone warning. I'm not going in there. I'll come back later when I'm more prepared, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> God, goat, can you please give me one of your horns? Can you give me a horn, please? No! Come on! Uh, I couldn't move fast enough. They're fast. Come get me, please. No, stop coming close. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. Don't get close to me. Do it from over here, you cheater. It's coming. It's coming! No! Come on, you're too fast. How do people get out of the way from that? Uh, come on. This is impossible. This is impossible. There is no, I can't get out of the way in time. I got hit so, so many times. I can't get out of the way in time. How do you do this? I uh, spent two days trying to get this goat horn. I can't do it. Somebody in the comment section, is there an easy way to get the goat horn? Let me know, please. I want it so bad. I want to go. Bah, 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 bah. But I can't. It's too hard. You win this round, kind sir. I think we go on a little boat trip. Ooh, and I do have some kitty cats at home. So let's do some uh, spear fishing. Oh, baby, we have ourselves a pillager outpost. You know what that means? They might have some allays there imprisoned and we can save them. Should we go in the cover of darkness? I don't think so. Now, let's scope this out. Let's do some reconnaissance work and see if they actually have a little prison cell. If they don't, it's not even a reason to get over there. There's a prison cell there. I can't tell there's an allay close by though. Oh, it's a nice sparse jungle though. Very nice, very pretty. There's bad guys right there. I say we do it. Let's go quickly. See if we can rescue an LA. If we can, good. If we can't, we'll come back when we'll be better prepared. But for right now, let's just give it a shot. We gotta save those little fairies. I got an X in hand. We got to break this thing. Go. Oh no. LA? Hi. I'm here to rescue you. My name is Mythical J Sausage. Oh, there's nothing in there. No! Let me check this. Let me check upstairs. Maybe there's something cool up there. You never know. Oh, no, Alays. I'm so upset right now. I couldn't be a hero, but I will be. You'll see. What do you got? Oh! I don't have to fight that other stupid goat anymore. What am I getting rid of? What am I getting rid of? The paper. Bye bye. Bye bye. Three days of hard work to get a goat horn, and all I had to do was come up here. Here it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Our first goat hornage. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. Oh, no. 
Oh, nice sh shot almost. All right, here we go. MLG and run. MLG and run. Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh, God. Uh, that was a fail. That was a fail. That was my fault. Oh, God. Oh, no. I was too nervous. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, chest boat. Chest boat. Ch forget it. I can't look for it. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> we escaped with our lives. Oh, that was close. Oh, mistakes were made. Oh, I would love a cocoa bean. Make some cookies when we get back home to celebrate. Oh, there's a guardian temple right there. Can do a farm on that thing. <laughs> this, that, the, the guardian farm is distracting. We have ourselves a mangrove right here. Go, you distracting old guardian farm. Then that's the perfect place for a guardian farm because we know now it's across the way from a mangrove swamp. Oh, time to explore. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that little entryway. Kind of looks like a like an ant hill or something. That's cool. Could set up something there. Maybe a little build on this side. Be nice, a little dockside area. Oh, this is so cool. We get to experience this for the first time together in survival. Oh, this is so nice with the chest boat and everything. Oh, this is pretty. Is there a way we can boat inside? Oh, let's go. This might be very dangerous, though. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, I'm going to break that. Uh, sorry. Oh, look at this. Oh, the propagules. Oh, is that fully grown? I think so. Oh, no. Now I need to dump something else. Um, compass, you got to go. Okay, I thought I needed that, but I didn't. Oh, come here. I'm going to take some of you home with me so I can replant. Oh, squishy. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, you cuties. Oh, we got you guys on this part. Okay, don't worry. I saved the coordinates for the other ones. I know you're here. Oh, I'm going to need to get something to bring you guys. Oh, love a lead. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this is so cool. And the green frogs are in like the really cold climates too. Oh, we got to do some breeding over there. Oh, look how pretty the water looks. I'm going to need some mangrove for sure for my starter house. So, you know what? While we're here, oh, look at that. A beehive right there. Oh, we're going to have to come back here eventually. I want to make a nice little outpost on this section too. Something maybe like right by the water that we just saw. But right now though, I need stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, that lovely piece of meat. You're going to help me collect, Froggy, baby. You're cute. I would love a stack of mud as well. Help me, Froggy. Let's get some mud. literally one of the coolest places in minecraft right now this is so nice the atmosphere oh if only we had some fireflies uh but <laughs> it's fine this looks really really cool though but fireflies would have been a nice touch oh it would have been a really nice touch just for ambience the frogs don't have to eat them we should start a petition minecraft Mojang, please add those fireflies just to make it look cool. You know, you have a bat in the game and a polar bear that serves absolutely no purpose. Why not have some fireflies that have absolutely no purpose but for ambiance? Yeah, please? What do you guys think? I think we're good. I got a stack of mangrove logs, a stack of the roots. I got two stacks of mud right here. About 12 propagules that we can replant when we get back home. Now that we're back home, there's just a couple things we need to do right now in order just for us to prepare for the building that we're about to do. One thing, we got to cut that copper, spread it out a little bit over here, and let that oxidize. I also want to set up a little bit of farmage down over here. So I'm going to need a little bit of seed action so we can do some wheat. That's a good start. I also only have one bucket of water. I'm going to have to go get another one. But for right now, i drop a little infinite water source. Uh, I just need um, one more. Yoink. You guys don't need it anyways. I got fish now, kitty. I'm back. Come, 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 come. Oh, you're a cutie little white kitty cat. Oh. That's it. I'm rushing this cat. Uh, these cats, I swear. I swear. Thank you. You're cute. Oh, it's a little cute little kitty cat. Oh, you know what? Now, just like my other series, I want you guys involved as much as possible. So right now in the comment section, put hashtag kitty cat and name my cat. <laughs> the best name wins. If you guys don't know what to call my cat, just look through the comments. Upvote your favorite ones. And in the next episode, we will name that beautiful kitty cat. You're cute. Everyone's going to love you. I'm going to find Bubbles soon, though. My girl's out there. I know for sure. Oh, it's okay. You want to get on the, on the wagon? Oh, you're the best. Okay, you're going <laughs> to... Yes, you're going to ride that wagon. Oh, you're so nice. You just wait right there, okay? Got our one carrot. Got our one potato. And the rest is wheat. Very humble beginnings. Now, another farm we need to set up is one for sugar cane. I'm going to make something super simple right over here. It's going to make a line going down here. Fill that with water. And make it infinite. And then just bring it all the way down. And then we're just going to drop it down right here. Super basic, but it's going to get the job done to start out. 
And we'll be making a bunch of different farms. Don't you worry. We're going to make it all pretty like we normally do. That uh, skeleton. I actually need some bone meal. Ah! <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Where did you fall from? Oh, my God. Okay, come over here. I do need bone meal, please. I'm serious. Oh, thank you. Not today, sir. Thanks for the bones. Um, is that skulk block? Oh, no. Please don't be an ancient city. I am not ready for a warden right now. That's gonna be our end game goals right there. Not even fight a warden, survive a warden. I'm not trying to fight no warden. The things I'm doing to get some deep slate is really ridiculous at this point. Oh, skulk everywhere there. Is that the screecher boy? Is that the one that screams out for the warden? Okay, the warden only comes out in the ancient cities or could they come out in this? Let me know in the comments this instant. I am very, very scared right now, and I'm not sure. It's so eerily quiet though. Oh, I think I need silk touch for these, so I'm not gonna mess with it yet. If I do this, okay, it doesn't go off because I think it needs the sensors, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, please don't be an ancient city. I can't see nothing right here. You guys are probably blinder than me. <gasps> Sneak 100. Oh, shut your mouth. It scared me so. Oh, that's a sensor. That's a sensor, boy. Oh. I need deep slate, though. Um. Does this need to be silk touch as well? No. I'm not ready for that. I really need deep sleep, so let's keep it going. Uh, I don't, oh my God, there's so many sensors there. No mobs around here too, which is pretty good at least. Sensors everywhere here. They're gonna hear me if I break it. Oh! Please no. I can't see. I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Please stop. Please. Not yet. This is only day one. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can get maybe inside this wall. And they might not be able to hit me. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm going to weep. I'm weeping. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to break this. And hopefully it doesn't hear me. There's no sensors this close. Is there? I'm going to put a torch down. <laughs> oh, my heart. My heart hurts. It hurts. Okay. Shh. Please don't hear this. Okay. 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 We're okay. We're all right. I'm just going to go in here and take as much deep slate as humanly possible. And then I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to change my my whole outfit. Uh, I need to take a shower. I need to get ready. And um, uh, I'm just going to sit down for a while and just read a book. All right. Or something. But uh, let me just collect some materials here. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh. What am I getting into? From this day forth, 119 will never ever be called the wild update. It is officially the horror update. And there's nothing you could do or say to stop me from calling it that. Cause my god, I don't know. I, I literally stopped playing for like a good three hours. I'm back, I'm ready. We got a house to build. Uh, let me show you what I have in mind. Oh god. Kitty, you should have seen it. It was the worst experience of my life. Now, as far as materials for the starter house, I'm cooking a little bit of stone because I want to use some stone and stone brick. Uh, over here, I'm going to be cooking some of the sandstone or the smooth kind. So it's going to be a little bit of this mix for the base. On top of that, I'm going to be bringing in mangrove wood, dark oak, mangrove again. It's going to have a deep slate roof lining. This, of course, is going to be stripped so we get this awesome Tudor look. And I got some stuff that just oxidized. So I could just bring this kind of back here. So it's going to be a mix of moss, a little bit of mossy cobble, and I got one fully oxidized copper. So that's going to be the main roof. Now, the main house is going to be two story, but I'm also going to have like a little one story kind of extension there on the side. And for the one story extension, I want to have it completely different as far as the color palette. We're still going to have the stony bottom base like this. But then over here, I want to bring in the smooth sandstone mixed in with a little bit of birch and a little bit of oak plankage. Of course, we're going to strip that. We're not animals. And I'm going to make it daytime because I'm scared. Horror update, horror update. 
And then for the roof on this one, just to change it up a little bit, I'm going to be using just the Cabo Deep Slate like that. A little bit of overgrown. And I'm thinking in the center to break it up, maybe a little bit of a tower using some of that packed mud. And I'm glad I found all those villages because I was able to get a bunch of wheat. Because for packed mud, we're going to need to combine the mud with wheat. And that's just a stack right there. But that's it. We got the idea. All we got to do is build it. And there it is. <laughs> the starter house is complete. And oh man, this, uh, yeah, I call it the starter house. This actually took me almost three hours to finish with all the detailing that we added on the roof with the overgrown, the bushes here on the side, the lichen and all that. The uh, color palette change over here. I wanted to get a little bit more whitewashed, uh, so I did add uh, some unstripped birch. But it's okay in this situation. Trust me. With some diorite, some polished diorite, a little bit of wool there on the side, and then transitioning to uh, the birch and the oak and the sandstone. I love the deep contrast we have here between uh, this darker tones with these lighter tones there. You're going to see a lot of this type of build style here in this area. It's going to look pretty cool. I love that we have so many different colors over here. The little earthy tones of the pack mud and the terracotta the lighter side over here the darker side on this side the overhangs are looking so good and then back here i added a giant chimney which looks pretty cool and a little bit of uh, just a log pile over here i normally would put a little bit of campfire block there but uh we don't have that much coal right now i love also our little extension over here it almost looks like it's built you know after the fact to get up to the top uh, originally i was going to put the roof going all the way down i was like nah, i kind of like the little extension bit here on the side and of course I did interior. Let me show you. <laughs> so on the inside here, we got our kitchen on display right there. Looking pretty cool. I got our lovely little dining room area here on this side. In this back end, we have a basement to the top floor. And I'm going to be placing uh, a mine right there. Just not now because it's very dangerous. There's no way I'm going to go back to that other cave anytime soon. Then coming up the side stair over here to this area. That's going to be where our brewing station is going to be. I got this from a village. Uh, so we have no blaze powder. But uh, we'll get to the nether soon. Then from here, this is connected with a stair that connects to this section. And then over here, we have our chest room. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more wood to finish this off. But for right now, it's okay. Got a little extra storage on this side and then when we go upstairs this is our bedroom very quaint very tiny but it does the trick a little armor stand we're going to place our first iron armor when we retire it after we get diamond which we didn't get a single one so far but that's fine we'll get it later we got our lovely balcony over here overlooking this mess uh, that we have here and then going on this end and going up the ladder we have a small writing area right here which is pretty nice now the starter house is perfect i wouldn't change a thing the only thing though that i would add right now is some custom trees a little bit of path work just to make it look a little bit more alive a little bit more lived in so let's do a little bit of terraforming add some trees right now and just like that some terraforming custom trees and this house looks like it's been here for a long long time giving a little bit of history on this thing we got some lovely trees here in the back i got three versions here this is our version of an oak tree we have a custom birch tree here in the back inspired by my friend flip who's making some really cool ones in his hardcore world a tiny well right here just so we can have a spot for our infinite water source and then over here on this side we have some custom mangrove trees almost like little baby redwoods and then another version of our oak tree in the back the paths are all set up Whenever we have any of the main house structures, I want to put in some deep slate here and then give it a little bit of a transition into almost like a more farm-like feel just with path block, a little bit of spruce going down to the side and then just zigzagging down into the next locations. 
I know this is our starter farm, but you know what? Just for memory's sake, I'm gonna leave this in place just like this with this nice little border surrounding it. And then we'll make big ones later on down that way. But as far as episode one, I think we did awesome. What do you guys think of our starter house? Let me know if you like the plans we have for the season. And I'll be back very, very soon with episode two. Goodbye.